everybody. It's Miss Cynthia. And Miss Shelby. Guess what? We're twinsies today. We didn't we plan it. didn't plan it, but we both wore the same color shirt today, which is great because today we're talking about rocks. And we know that you like rocks. We like rocks too. And we're going to go through a whole bunch of books about rocks. We're going to show you a lot of different rocks. And let's go ahead and get started. All right. Well, the first book we're going to read is called The Rock Book. And I like this book. It's because it's a side-by-side -side book. So the next time you come to the library, you can look for it. And what is a side-by-side -side book, you ask? Well, here's what it is. This book is for kids and grown-ups to read together. So when you see the smiley face, that means it's time for the kids' turn to read. And a grown-up can read the rest of the words on it. This book also has a table of contents. It tells us how many chapters are in there. One, two, three. And it tells us how many pages are in this book as well. Look, we're on page number three, but there's 24 pages in this book. Did you know there's three different types of rocks? There's igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. And we're gonna learn about those in chapter one. This is a rock. Some rocks start to form deep inside the earth where the rock is so hot it melts. This hot melted rock is called magma. Sometimes magna, magma comes out to the earth's surface. And what does it turn into? Lava, that's right, lava is very hot. You cannot touch that. When magma cools, it gets hard again and it becomes an igneous rock. So there are some rocks that are igneous rocks. That's granite, pumice, and basalt are also igneous rocks. Some rocks form when wind, water, and ice break big rocks into tiny pieces called sediment. The sediment goes into lakes and oceans. It piles up in layers. And look here, those layers get squished together to make a sedimentary rock. And you can see all the different layers. It's kind of like a cake. That is a rock too. This is a rock. Some rocks start as one type of rock and then turn into another. That's what that's called. That's called metamorphic. There's a great big word that's called metamorphosis. And that is what a butterfly does. It goes from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's a metamorphosis. And these sedimentary rocks turn into other types of rocks like limestone turns into marble. Now we're on chapter two and it's called amazing rocks. Look at this. Rocks come in different colors, sizes, and shapes. No two rocks are exactly alike. I love all the colors of those rocks. Rocks can be colorful. Look, there's some turquoise, there's some rose quartz, there's some malachite. That rose quartz is pink, the malachite is green, the turquoise is blue. Rocks can be sparkly. Look at that, when you open that rock up, look at all the crystals in there. That's called a geode. Rocks can be big. Guess what? This is a mountain. And you know what it's called? It's called the Rocky Mountains because they are made out of rocks. And rocks can be tiny. Have you ever played with sand? Believe it or not, you're playing with rocks. When wind and water wash away bigger rocks, those rocks eventually get ground into tiny grains of rocks. Look at that. Did you know that sand was a rock? I didn't either. Rocks can be shapes. When you look at a rock, it may not look like much is going on, but rocks are always changing. What do you think made this rock change? Well, you know what it was? It was wind and water wore away parts of the rocks over many years. And this can have leave shapes in the rocks. This is like an arch here. Look at this. This says rocks can be art. Did you know that people carved these faces into the rock mountain? Some rocks are carved into shapes by nature. Others are carved into shapes by people. Artists slowly break off parts of a rock to make a sculpture. These famous sculptures are on a mountain. It shows the faces of four presidents. It is called Mount Rushmore. Look here. It says, this man is checking Abraham Lincoln's nose for cracks. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Rocks can be fun. It's fun to collect rocks. Look, she's got her rocks by colors in her box here. 
So you could go out and find all sorts of rocks. And then if you wanna group them into colors, you can. If you wanna group them into large and small, you can. Chapter three, who uses rocks? Rocks can be used in many ways. They help animals and people get things done. What? Animals? How can a rock help an animal? Let's find out. Sea otters use rocks. Oh, look at that. Sea otters eat creatures with hard shells like mussels and clams. So how do they get that tasty seafood out? Well, sea otters float on their backs and they put a rock on their stomachs. Then they smash the food on the rock to open the shell. Crack, dinner is served. Look at that, so he's got a shell there. He hits it on the rock and that will open it. That's pretty smart thinking, isn't it? Guess who else uses rocks? Crocodiles. Crocodiles use rocks. Why would crocodiles use rocks? Well, crocodiles can't chew their food. How can they not chew their food? Look at all those teeth they've got. They swallow it whole. Some scientists think that's why they swallow rocks. The rocks sit in their stomach and smash against the food, which breaks it up. Smaller pieces of food are easier to digest. And guess what? Those rocks in the crocodile's stomach also add extra weight to it, and it helps the crocodiles to dive deeper and stay underwater longer. Hmm, I didn't know crocodiles could use rocks. Guess who else use rocks? Chimps use rocks. Chimpanzees use rocks in a nutty way. They like to eat cola nuts and panda nuts, but the shells are tough to open. So the chimp puts a nut on the rock on the ground, picks up another rock, and wham! The nut cracks open. It's time for a snack. Guess who else uses rocks? We use rocks. Did you ever go outside and draw with chalk? Guess what? People use rocks too. Chalk is made with rock. And if you're writing on concrete, it's also made with rock. Did you know there's a rock you can eat? Salt is a mineral that adds flavor to food. Well, I think we found out all sorts of things about rocks in our rock book. I didn't know. Well, we've got a song to sing Miss Shelby today and it's about rocks. It's a really simple song, one little, two little, three little rocks. The hard part is gonna be turning the pages, but we're gonna try it. So here we go. One little, two little, three little rocks, four little, five little, six little rocks, seven little, eight little, nine little rocks, ten little rocks in the stream. All right, now let's do it again. And we're gonna do line on the beach. All right, you ready? One little, two little, three little rocks, four little, five little, six little rocks, seven little, eight little, nine little rocks, two ten little rocks line the beach. Let's do it one more time. One little, two little, Three little rocks, four little, five little, six little rocks, seven little, eight little, nine little rocks, ten little rocks lying on the ground. Look at all those rocks. Have you seen so many rocks lying on the ground? There's actually more than ten there, isn't there? My favorite, Miss Shelby, was number seven because it had all sorts of colorful rocks on it. Look at all those different colors. Mm -hmm. What color is that? That's orange. That's right. What about this one? Yellow, like my shirt. Oh, Your that's shirt. Right. That's right. And what color is this one? That is green. That's right. There's all different colors in here. And those seven rocks. Which one? Our next book is called Stick and Stone, and it's by Beth Ferry. And this is one of my favorite books because it talks about rocks, and also friendship. Stick. Stone. Lonely. Alone. A zero. A one. Alone, Alone is, is no fun. fun. Stick. Stone. Alone comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. 
won't leave him alone. Vanish, says Stick. His word does the trick. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick. Stone. No, no longer, longer alone. alone. Stick. Stone. A, a friendship, friendship has grown. grown. They, they wonder, wonder, explore, explore lays by, by the shore. Then thunder and rain. Boom! A loud hurricane. Oh no, look what's happening. <gasps> look at stone. Look at stick. Stick is windblown. There goes pine cone. Hold on, calls out stone. Again, he's alone. Oh no, look Miss Shelby, what's that? One little leaf left for mm. Stick. Search day. Stick. 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 And search night. No stick in sight. What's this? A huge puddle? Stick stuck in the muddle. Look here. He's upside down and there's a word there and that word says help. We can see if we can turn the book around and you can see it. Help! Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga! Curse Bloosh! Oh my goodness. Look what Stone does. What does Stone do? He rolls down the hill. He hits a log. He yells, Cowabunga! Look at Stick. How does Stick look, Miss Shelby? Confused. Confused. Do you remember that word? Like, we don't know exactly what's happening. And then... When he went curse bluish, what happened? Look at Stick. He flew away. There goes Stick. Stone hit the water so hard, Stick flew out. You rock stone, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick. Stone. Together, together again. again. Stick. Stone. A, A perfect, perfect ten. ten. Look. A one and a zero. Remember at the beginning, there was a zero and a one, but he puts them together and you have a perfect 10. To, to the, the end. end. Hey, Miss Shelby, guess what? What? I've got a whole bunch of rocks for us to look at. Okay. And I love rocks. When I was a little girl, I used to collect rocks. Did you do that? I didn't always know their names, but I like to put them in piles and things. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you know what people that look at rocks are called? I do not. They're called geologists. And do you know that people that look at rocks that are have fossils in them, like dinosaur fossils, do you know what they're called? I do not. Paleontologists. Mm -hmm. I love to look at rocks, so let's get started. All right. All right, Miss Shelby, I've got some rocks up here. What do you think they look like? Well, it has spots, mm -hmm. kind of like a Dalmatian. That one does. That's exactly right. This is called a Dalmatian rock. Look at it. Because it's got spots on it like a Dalmatian, that's why they named it so. Yes, that is a Dalmatian rock. And this rock looks very similar to it, doesn't it? It's just it a different color. It's It's got a little bit of pink in it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, for our next rock. Ooh, look at this. What color is it? It looks pretty blue to me. It is blue. They love to make jewelry out of this rock, especially in the Southwest. Do you know what it might be? Um, I'm not sure. It's called turquoise. And you could see the different colors in it. I see some brown and some white and that beautiful, beautiful blue there. Isn't it pretty? Hmm. It is pretty. And here's another blue. It's not quite as, mm -hmm. uh, this is a sky blue and this is a darker blue, isn't it? So, are they both turquoise? I think they are. I think this is turquoise too. It's just a different shade of turquoise. So, well, let's see. I love this rock right here. Look at it. It's got all sorts of different colors in it. What do you think it's called? Look, you see the blue? I see blue, purple, purple pink. Yeah, pink. Look, there's some on the back. It looks like somebody's painted that rock, haven't they? It does. But they haven't. Guess mm -hmm. what it's called? Um, I don't know. What is it called? Peacock ore. 
that's what it's called. That makes sense. Because a peacock has beautiful colors in its feathers, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And that one sparkles and shines and it looks really good. Speaking of sparkling and shining, woohoo! We struck it rich, Miss <laughs> Shelby. We don't have to work anymore. Does it look like gold? It looks like gold to me. Guess what? It's not. It's called pyrite. Oh. Fool's gold. When people would find it, they would think, yay, I've got some gold. But it's not real gold. It is pyrite. So we're not rich. We're not rich. We're going to have to keep doing story times. And even <laughs> if I were rich, I still would do that. Look at this one. What color is it? It looks pink. It does look pink. And look, I have another one here that's the same. But one shape is a square. Can you find the one that's a square for me? I think it's that one. That's right. Rocks can come in all different sizes and shapes. This one's kind of an oval shape. And these are called rose quartz because they're a nice, beautiful shade of pink and they are almost see-through. You can, if you hold it up close, you can see it glimmer and shine. Like it, you can almost see through it. I love those, they're so pretty. Now here's one. Remember how we talked about the three types of rocks? Mm -hmm. We talked about igneous, sedimentary, and also metamorphic. This rock is changing, isn't it? Look, it's changing from limestone into a quartz, I believe. Look at that. It is. It's nice to have a rock like that that we can see changing. What color is it? It's yellow, like my shirt. It's yellow, like our shirts. That's <laughs> right. Remember how we talked about rocks being worn down as well mm -hmm. through wind and water? Look at this one. It's got a hole in it. Somehow, there's been water that has dripped, dripped, dripped on this rock. Or maybe the wind has blown through it. Just like in Miss Shelby's toddler story time when she talked about wind. It changed this rock from having a solid surface to having a hole in it through the middle. This rock looks like one of those geodes we talked about when you hold it up. Hold that up, Miss Shelby. Show everybody what it mm. looks like. And it's a beautiful shade. What color do you think that is? What color? Mm -hmm. Looks like gray or white. It does look like gray, doesn't it? Gray mm -hmm. and white. Even, I think I even saw some, like if you look closely, it looks like there's even some yellow in there. But that looks like, look at all those crystals in that rock. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. We have a lot of this around here. This is some sedimentary rock. This is some, you can see all the different layers in it. We have lots of this in Tennessee. This is one of my favorite rocks. That doesn't look like a rock, does it? It does not. It doesn't, does it? It's called hematite. And you know what it does? What does it do? It is a rock that is made from the volcanoes. That's what it does. It's magnetic. It will stick to each other. Like these rocks will come off, but when you put them back together, wow, they really stick. They're really, oh, <laughs> I mean, they're very, very, they're very, uh, magnetic towards each other. So that's a lot of fun to play with mm -hmm. hematite. You might see some of these around at the local stores where you can buy them and play with them. What color is that one, Miss Shelby? That one is yellow too. That one is yellow. Now, I want you to pick it up. And before you do though, oh. I want you to tell me, do you think it's gonna be heavy or light? Um, right, How these rocks that we felt so far, are they heavy or light? They're pretty heavy. So, would that rock be heavy or light knowing the other rocks we've seen? Probably heavy. No, I think, let's try and see. Pick it up. What do you think? Oh, it is not heavy at all. It's it not. It is very light. No, it is very light. What color is that? It's yellow, bright yellow. Mmm. That one is called sulfur. Now, I wish we could have a smell a gram here because what we could do is you can rub this with your fingers and then take it up to your nose and you can smell the sulfur. It doesn't smell good, it does, does it? It does not. It smells like rotten eggs. Yeah. Yes, so this one is very light, but people use it a lot. Here's another beautiful piece. This one's called fluorite and it looks just like a beautiful green 
rock and you can see all the crystals in it. I love how that looks. All right, Miss Shelby, what color is that rock? That is black. That is black, that's mm -hmm. right. Remember, oh, look here, look what I've got here. Hmm. What color is that rock? White and black. So we have white and black. Was this one heavy or light when you picked it up? It's very light. Very light. Do you know what that is? I do not. What is it? That is coal. And a long time ago, people used coal in their houses to keep them warm. We still use coal today, like sometimes in trains they use coal to make them go. But it looks like it's really heavy, but it's very light. I love the white stone. It looks like chalk, doesn't it? It does. I love the black and the white together, don't you? Mm -hmm. Look at this rock. What do you think it is? Are you sure that's a rock? That looks like Clifford to it me. It is a rock. It is a rock. It's been playing it to look like Clifford. And guess what? That's what we're going to do today for our craft. Awesome. We are going to paint some rocks. Not going to be as good as Clifford, I'm afraid, but we're going to paint some rocks to show you how to do it. All right, so this book is called Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett. There's Sam and Dave getting ready for their hole digging. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. See how they have their shovels? They're getting ready to dig. When should we stop digging? asked Sam. We are on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. Do you know what that word spectacular is? Do you know what it means? That means it's something really, really awesome. Really, really cool. So let's see if they can find it. The hole got so deep that their heads were underground. Look, they're below the ground. But they still had not found anything spectacular. We need to keep digging, said Dave. What do you think about that? Could that be spectacular? So, so they kept digging, getting pretty deep. Look at that dog, he came with them. They took a break. Dave drank chocolate milk out of a canteen. That's his little jug there. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in their grandfather's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave. The problem is that we are digging straight down. Yes, said Sam. That could be the problem. I think we should dig in another direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. Do you think it was a good idea to change directions? Look what they're close to. I think that's pretty spectacular. I have a new idea, said Dave. Let's split up. Really, said Sam. Just for a little while, said Dave. It will help our chances. They went away from the diamond. So Dave went one way and Sam went to the, the other. Look what they missed by splitting up. But they did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. Do you think it was a good idea to go back to going straight down? Look what they missed. A really big diamond. That would have been spectacular. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal cookie, but they kept digging. Look how dirty they are. After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I am tired. I cannot dig anymore. I am tired too, said Dave. We should take a rest. So they took a rest. Look at that dog. What's he doing? He's getting that bone. He's gonna keep digging. Sam and Dave fell asleep. Look at the dog. <gasps> I 
What's happening? Did he get the bone? Not yet. Then Sam and Dave were falling. And so was the dog. Sam and Dave fell down, down, down. Until they landed in the soft dirt. Well, said Sam. Well, said Dave. That was pretty spectacular. And they went inside for chocolate milk and animal cookies. So they went inside and they left the cat on the porch and the dog outside with his bone. And they never found the diamonds, did they? But they thought falling from the sky was pretty spectacular. So I guess that's good enough. Well, Miss Shelby, I had a great time talking about rocks with you today. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Mm -hmm. I love to look at rocks. Go out and find some rocks. Send us some pictures of your favorite rocks. Don't forget to make our rock craft. Definitely send us a picture of that. But before we go, let's do thumbs up, thumbs down, put your hands together and give yourself a great big hug because you did a great job listening today. And this hug is from us too. So remember, we'll be back together soon. Be safe, be strong, and we love you. Bye. Bye. All right, so our craft today is gonna to be a rock painting. And I'm sure you have lots of rocks outside of your house. So all you need is a rock. And we are going to use paint pens. If you don't have paint pens, you can use a real paint and some real paint brushes. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to make a mouse with my rock. And Miss Cynthia is going to paint a porcupine. So we'll see how we do. All right, so how are we going to start this, Shelby? Okay, so we start. I'm going to make my eyes first. I think mine is going to be a hedgehog, and I've got stripes all around it or lines. I think I'm going to start with those. Okay. There's different sizes and shapes. And then I'm just going to make C's for my ears. Oh, yeah, that'd be good for ears, wouldn't it? Yeah. I love hedgehogs. I don't have any. My niece used to have one, but they have lots of them. I call them hedgehogs in England too, and they protect them because they're endangered over there. Interesting. They live outside in the wild. If you see a hedgehog on the side of the road, you're not supposed to touch it. You're supposed to call somebody. I'm not an artist. It's not about your skill. It's about the process. That's right. Parents, that is totally true. It's not about what your children's things look like. It's the process of them making it. So don't worry if it's not what you would think it should look like. If they're enjoying it and having fun doing it, that's the best way to learn. The process is the is progress. Oh, I like that one. I loved it. Thank you. My little nose is going to have to be red. This that's looks okay. like a mouse. What does mine look like a mouse? <laughs> I'm making a mouse. Well, I think I beat you already. I've got a mouse. My little hedgehog is going to hold a red heart. Oh, I have to draw some hands after I draw the heart in. Yours come to Miss Cynthia. Uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> it still looks like a mouse. I'm gonna put a heart on here now and let's see if that changes anything. This rock is unusually shaped, so it is hard to make a heart, but I think I did an okay job. Remember what we said, it's the process, not the finished product. And this is kind of relaxing. It is. And everybody's got rocks around, I know. Mm -hmm. You can just go, you could even probably use, um, what are those things, magic markers on these. I bet you could, or a Sharpie. Would probably a Sharpie, yeah, something like that. Sharpies would be fun to do. And then you could just, see my mount my hedgehog is supposed to be holding this up there. It's a little heart. I'm not so sure that that looks just like a hedgehog. It looks 
looks beautiful, just like the picture. Just like the picture. May I have I did make my whiskers black instead of white. Oh yeah, but because of the they didn't show up great. They didn't on uh -huh. this silver. We had silver painted rocks already, which is fun. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna add a little white to mine here and see if it gives it some more dimension, so it looks like it's not so much a you know. And the next step after your you paint your rock right, you know the next step. No, you have to give it a name. <gasps> oh, wow. What are you gonna call yours? Um, since mine is a mouse, I think I'm gonna go with my sister's name, Mindy the Mouse. Mindy the Mouse. <laughs> yes, what about you? Well, you know what, since you went with your sister, I'll go with my son, Samuel the Hedgehog. I love it. All right, I think I'm done too. All right, that's a very fun, easy, easy craft, craft that you can do any, any age that you are. Very relaxing. Yep. So we finished our rocks. Samuel the Hedgehog. And Mindy the Mouse. Uh, I would copy Miss Shelby's more than mine. <laughs> mine doesn't really look like a hedgehog, but it was really fun to do. We'll just have a great time trying it. And we hope you'll come back and see us really soon, right, Miss yeah. Shelby? That's right. Bye. Bye. Hi. Ah, no, wait, wait. What is going on with this hair? Oh, fudge, Shelby. Oh, all right. No, my hair is sticking out. <laughs> One little. <laughs> I just about fell out of my chair. I wish you had him. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. Like? Um, I liked the rocks rolling in the stream. Oh, rolling in the stream. I think that was number 10 too. I think it was. Thank you. And we'll just, I'll give it to him and he will throw it in the yard. <laughs> Don't care at all. No, he's a very good boy. We're gonna read another book, and I don't know what I'm saying here. Formation. That's why they named it so. This one, and look at it. It has got. It is got. Never mind what it's got. I'm looking at my hand here. <laughs> like why have I got paint on my fingers? I don't know why. White and black. That's right. Now this one. Nope. Well, not right. Never mind. and find all sorts of rocks and then if you want to group them into colors you can if you want to group them into large and small you can if you want to group them into um it's hard or it's not so hard it may be like a piece of shell cut that part out okay <laughs> <laughs>